y'all thought we had late night chronicles at 8 p.m <laughs> the time is now 10 13 god damn this um, is so late I, i'm like literally in a, in a work week i'm like in bed actually no no no. no I'm, I'm in bed at like 11 o'clock you'd be texting me at like 11 like, yeah hey, exactly i have an idea i'm like i don't want to hear i'm tired mm-hmm. but anyways we're just gonna wing this one okay yeah i mean we wing all of them but exactly we ain't got no script <laughs> this is all unscripted <laughs> also side note um we're literally having a tea party today amir's flavor of choice is chai tea wait chai is tea he's yeah, getting a chai okay? i have tea tea today guys he's getting a chai flavor <laughs> and i'm having you know the staple the classic green tea Did you put sugar in it in yours yeah yeah too nice like okay. heaping teaspoons nice that's exactly what i want especially yeah. with a big cup like that yeah mm. these are the cups my mom uses for the guests that she likes uh, you know those really know. tiny shot glass size ones yeah those are for the people she doesn't like <laughs> so if you ever come over and you get a really tall tiny uh tea. depending on the size of cup you know how much she loves you <laughs> <laughs> anyways mm-hmm. let's get into our real intro welcome back to another episode of the cousin connection <laughs> My bad. we've been doing this for 60 I was <laughs> you know you know what's going on because in my head i was like last week we didn't say podcast together so i was waiting for us to say podcast together i forgot about the same word <laughs> yeah. i started overthinking it drop the ball okay okay friend. okay okay let's go let's okay. go redo take three <laughs> <laughs> there's literally a sound for that you know i know okay i'll add that later then (laughs) okay welcome back everybody to another episode of the cousin connection podcast oh my god oh my god amir we are really back to square one i was literally i was thinking about me not forgetting <laughs> it's gonna be that type of episode today, y'all. You know hey, what? We were live when we said this, like at ten thirty. Okay, my brain turns off at like nine thirty. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take four. Take mm-hmm. four. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> Just go. Just go. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Cousin Connection Podcast. podcast. God, we're, gonna, we're sticking with that one, honestly. Exactly. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Thank you guys so much for listening to our 17th. This better be the 17th episode. Yeah, this is episode 17th, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. is. To our 17th episode. We're almost legal, guys. This is crazy. I can't believe we actually like stuck to doing weekly Mm -hmm. episodes for 17 weeks. Mm -hmm. Never missed one week. I mean, we did. uh, We never missed one week. We never missed one week. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um you know like we always do the appreciation will never fade um thank you guys so much for your constant love and support all the reposts all mm-hmm. the the times you guys send us dms with your thoughts all the suggestions you send mm-hmm. we appreciate all of it so thank you so much ditto <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry wasn't there a singer named ditto no there's a pokemon named ditto no there's a singer and she sang that one song about that. No, oh, that was a hamster song. It was about um like that one fan that was in love with Eminem. It was called Stan. That was an Eminem song. It was lit. It was made by Eminem. When called he- Stan. Are you sure it was him? Yeah. It wasn't Ditto. Why would Why would Ditto make a song about Eminem's fans? I'm gonna search this up afterwards. But I'm girl, I sure. know that. I no, remember no, no, the video. No, no, no. So do I. And it was the no. girl, and she played um, Eminem. Nah, 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 nah. I, I, I think I remember this video. I remember this video distinctly because he had a guy who looked like Eminem. Yeah, and he was like a really big fan. Yeah, and he, uh, the fa- a fan of him during the Eight Mile era, and he was wearing like a wife beater tank top with like a hoodie. Trust me, I have really good uh, long term memory. I don't know about this. Uh, we're gonna have to fact check that. We'll fact check next. We will add a segment All right, for status fact checks. Fine, we will. <laughs> Okay. so for episode 17 um we i mean i <laughs> wanted to cover this topic mm-hmm. i think i think that you know we always focus on uh like the negatives of whether mm-hmm. it's relationships friendships whatever the case may be mm-hmm. but i thought we should focus on the positives yeah would you say they're negatives <laughs> you know i guess yeah they're the other side we we look at what people lack yeah let's look at what people 
have and bring to the table. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, so, go ahead. You know, I want to talk about friendship green flags because mm-hmm. you know I- I'm pretty sure y'all y'all tired of hearing about relationships. Let's talk about the other mm-hmm. ships that we like. Okay, the and, and just full transparency. When Sada mentioned this, I was like, friendship green flags. Yeah, he has no idea what I'm talking. Like, about. I have no idea what she's talking about. I was like, you're gonna you're let me you know fill me in on this. You know, for once I'm gonna be the one who's taking in the facts. And learning from you, okay? So I pulled up an article from BuzzFeed that mm-hmm. took sources from Reddit. Ah! So I figured you would enjoy this because of that. <laughs> You're like, his nerd side will love this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, before we actually get into it, I want to ask you, like, mm-hmm. what would you... When I when I mentioned friendship green flags, like, mm-hmm. what did you understand from that? Um, Like, things that I, I look for in a friend, right? Like, for me, I was like... I don't know. I literally wrote this down. I was like, having that friend where you don't have to talk for like nine months, but when you do talk or whenever you do meet up, it's like nothing changed. So like a low maintenance friend. Yeah, exactly. Because mm. I'm really bad at maintenance. <laughs> yeah. Like super bad at maintenance. But like for me, like from the time that I see someone, no matter how many years it's been, there's mm. literally no change. Yeah. Because I don't, well, half the time it's because I'm not thinking about other people being like, in a negative way you know how some mm-hmm. people might like if they're not if you're not there they'll start making up things about you oh they just don't want to see me anymore <laughs> blah 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 that kind of thing <laughs> yeah nah, nah nah i ain't like that at all so that's good as long as you're low maintenance it's like we'll work out perfectly fine mm-hmm. so, so that was mean, something that came to mind that's a good one mm-hmm. i think that um if you're a low maintenance friend like if you don't need that constant attention mm-hmm. and, like affirmation from your friend you almost like expect that from your friends too. Yeah, pretty so much. That's, that's that's a very introverted. Like I feel like a lot of actually. Let me not let me not um, classify all introverts mm-hmm. like that because it depends on the type of introvert. That yeah, you I are. guess so. Yeah, yeah. Because there are needy like introverts. I mean, I don't want to call them needy in a negative way, but like mm-hmm. you know, you just need more attention. Are there like I feel you like that's such so? an oxymoron. Like someone who needs more attention but likes their alone time. Well. It's kind of like... Um, but then again, there are people of like all shapes and colors and sizes and mindsets. So like, you can probably find someone exactly like that. I'm, I'm sure they exist. Mm-hmm, exactly. There's, there's someone who exists in every spectrum yeah. of anything. Really. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so for anyone who didn't know what a friendship or who doesn't know what a friendship green flag is, it's kind of like, think about the red flags that you have in your mind when you're thinking of any sort of relationship. Like. Mm-hmm the things that you don't want to have in a relationship, the yeah. green flags are the things that you do want or the things that you are looking for in mm-hmm. your friends. Um, so just <coughs> as a disclaimer, we're focusing mostly on friends <laughs> for this episode. Oh, this is not a relationship podcast today. Is that, yeah, is that what you're trying to imply? Not, <laughs> this is not a relationship podcast mm-hmm. episode. Well, it's not a, 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 a romantic relationship yeah. podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when we if, if we slip up and say relationship, we really just mean... The relationship between two Yeah, because relationship in, is all-encompassing, right? It's friends, family, uh, partner. What else is there? I think that's it pretty much. Pets. Co-workers. <laughs> Co-workers, exactly, yeah. Neighbors. Yeah, so there's all these different types of relations, but today we're focusing on friends specifically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess, you know, if you classify, like, like me and Amir are first cousins. Mm-hmm. Amir and I are first cousins. Yeah, and I'm going to get to that, too, about, like, how, like looking for friends yeah. and how sometimes you have built-in friends <laughs> yeah i was just gonna say like yeah. although we're first cousins we're literally like built-in friends yeah but we'll touch on that more yeah. later um so this list uh was comprised in a buzzfeed article um there's 27 different ones we're not gonna go through all of them no, no. um okay this one just as soon as i read the first line it reminded me of like love languages mm-hmm. have you heard of that yeah, like I vaguely know love languages. Mm-hmm. Like I've heard of them, but I don't know exactly what they are, how mm-hmm. they break down, mm-hmm. how you figure out what yours is, that kind yeah. of stuff. I don't know about that. Okay, I'll explain that to mm-hmm. you. But this one says, when someone goes to a store and sees something that they know you would like and without mm-hmm. being asked to, they get it for you. And then the person wrote, this is something that my dad always did for us and my current boyfriend does it now. Mm-hmm. Okay, we said it in a relationship podcast. Well, like, I think we're, it's, it's no, you're like you're going to, kind of touch on all those anyways yeah but this this is the act of being or i guess this i would describe this as being like thoughtful Mm -hmm. um you know you're thinking of somebody else like yeah it's kind of just like um like you know how okay prime example Mm -hmm. i was at the gym 
Amir texted me. He was on his way and he said, hey, I'm going to go get food. Like we already planned to eat yeah. together anyway, but he was like, I'm just going to get it. So what do you want? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my God, that saves me a trip. Like, thank you. Done no. Appreciate you. <laughs> Appreciate you. You're a real one. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But in terms of like what love languages are, so there's a test that you have to do. You mm-hmm. answer certain questions. Yeah. And there's five main ones. Mm-hmm. So the first one is words of affirmation. Yeah. So like you need to be told that you're like can you have like a negative love language because that would be my negative <laughs> language oh, you, oh well it goes ranking like which from oh, okay that would be number five for me <laughs> mm-hmm. there's also physical touch mm-hmm. so like if like you like, like hugging people who are people. like huggy like yeah. the cuddle, that kind yeah, of yeah, stuff yeah. Mm. that's you mm-hmm. that's one of yours yeah um, uh, that's like my number two maybe quality time oh that's like the number four really yeah okay Quali- what do you mean by quality time like <clears throat> For you, feeling loved by your friends and family or whatever Mm -hmm. means someone's taking time out of their day to spend time with you. Quality time. That's not very important to me. (gasps) Really? Like, I like like being there for other people, but for me personally. Like, how you like to receive love. Yeah, how I like to receive it. Yeah. Like, I'd rather, I don't know if another one's going to come up, but like, if someone asks me to do something acts of service okay there you go so yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah actually that is like i would say your your maybe your top yeah that would probably be my top we'll go go through what are the other ones again? okay so uh, um physical touch mm-hmm. words of affirmation yeah uh quality time mm-hmm. acts of service mm-hmm. and gift giving like receiving oh yeah gifts. so acts of service would definitely be my number one yeah yeah yeah, because if someone asks me to do something, I'm like there 100. percent Yeah, you're like the go-to. Yeah, exactly. Which I can totally. I, there you go. I, I totally agree yeah, with that. And it doesn't even matter what it is. If if you need something fixed, I probably know how to do it. <laughs> if not, <laughs> if you have an issue with a computer. I know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can figure it out. Don't worry. I'm the handyman. But yeah, so this reminds me of like mm-hmm. this could be seen in, in as different things like act, yeah. acts of service because you you know you buying something for someone. Mm-hmm. Or just doing something to make their life easier yeah. is like acts of service. Yeah, so that was, that's probably why I would have gotten it because it would be an act of service to make someone's life easier. Mm. Okay, yes, yeah, so that makes sense. I don't even okay. take test, test. I already know what I am. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Like knowing that mm-hmm. can really help to improve your any sort of relationship, mm-hmm. right? Because then if you're communicating this with your friends, like for example, say it's your birthday and you don't like to receive gifts like it makes you uncomfortable yeah but everyone's like let's throw amir a surprise party and everyone buy him gifts to you that might not be something that's enjoyable yeah. but rather you know maybe we uh acts of service i don't know maybe your bike broke and we decided to fix yeah. your wheel or something or exactly. whatever the case is you yeah. know or um i know quality time isn't like your top but like still chilling with some of like hanging yeah out i think with. i think actually quality time it depends like it depends on where the context of that quality time, like where you are. Because for me, key. it's like if it's very low key, mm. I love it. Yeah. Because it doesn't require too much for me. Yeah. To kind of like if everyone's just chilling, I love that. But if you have to like be actively doing something, mm. I'm like, uh, I just want to chill, guys. Let's just chill, sit next to each other, and I don't know, we'll do something like read books together. <laughs> <laughs> quiet hangout kind of yeah exactly Can you imagine we're just like flipping pages yeah, just go to the library that's so nice yeah oh my god i haven't been to the library in years i know i don't even know if any libraries are still open are they i don't know i have to search that up because i actually I'm, I'm buying way too many books recently i need to cut back on that and find some way of like getting books cheaper do you have a library card still no i tried checking <laughs> to see if i still have one no i don't i don't know where it is yeah, i lost it either. yeah but we'll find out okay we're, we're getting off track here okay okay <laughs> this wow this one reminds me of you Mm -hmm. so this one says when someone can laugh at minor mistakes and or inconveniences instead of getting frustrated immediately it shows that they approach life with a sense of easygoingness and humor yeah yeah definitely yeah i mean um i guess this is considered a friendship green flag like if rather than having a friend oh shoot i forgot we were talking about friendship green flags (laughs) right I was just reacting to like something that I would like. <laughs> yeah, I think you should sip your tea. <laughs> yeah, I should write that <laughs> well, What I was going to say was, um, you know, this could be considered a green flag because, you know, you might not want someone who's always hot headed because then you're going to have to be that, that friend who calms them down. Like imagine yeah. we're in a situation where something <laughs> happens and 
I'm there like cussing a storm like I'm so mad and you're just like Sara chill like mm-hmm. it's not that big of a deal and then it's like that person's anger or their vibe mm-hmm. will impact your vibe and then all of a sudden like the mood has been brought down because yeah. this person's but angry. I do get annoyed at myself and like outwardly express it yeah for like random things I remember I was on a trip in Vancouver yeah and we parked our car on the street and I was just I was more mad at myself because I forgot because you know you have to pay for parking right the whole yeah. trip we were paying for parking this is the last day and on the street we, we got out of the car we started walking and i just forgot to pay so when we came back i had a 45 dollar oh. ticket that's and not so bad it's not so bad but like the f- i wasn't mad about the ticket i was mad about the fact that i forgot after being mm. there for the whole trip yeah. and not forgetting and also this is our second ticket Oh, you but we fought we fought the first one we we didn't have to pay that one but the fact that it happened twice in like two days i think built up and i was like i'm out of it i'm done ticked off. yeah ticked off but that's super out of character pe- character for me i usually don't get angry like that but uh <laughs> it's just annoying <laughs> i remember one time when you mm-hmm. got angry and it actually makes me laugh because of like what <laughs> which <laughs> vaseline story vaseline where <laughs> the guy <laughs> oh <laughs> i wasn't even like angry angry when you told me that story i'm here i wasn't angry okay I, okay you were very annoyed well just for context you I have to at, tell the story now. <laughs> <laughs> i was at i was at dona which is like a week-long seminar islamic seminar where they give lessons every day and in between the lessons you know there's like uh you know like leisure time leisure time exactly and there's this one guy who came up to me and he saw that i had a little bottle of vaseline it's honestly like pinky size it's so yeah, small it's like the mini size you've probably seen them in the store sometimes and he's like hey can i have like some vaseline and i was like yeah sure so i open up for him and, and he takes the whole thing <laughs> i was like okay maybe he's just gonna like dip his hand it's pre-covid okay guys so don't worry <laughs> i was just gonna say <laughs> exactly. i was gonna give that disclaimer <laughs> and then all i see it's not one two one finger, <laughs> not two fingers. This guy takes like three, almost his whole hand because How this is small. How did he fit it in there? So he fit, he fit as many fingers as he could into that bottle and like suctioned out the Vaseline <laughs> from inside there. <laughs> i was like what is this guy gonna do like he's on his whole body and this guy's like cakes it on his face <laughs> it's like 20 layers of Vaseline on his lips he walks away <laughs> and he gives it back to me the empty tub yeah the empty tub like half empty tub and it, like i was so like confused at what just happened he just walked away <laughs> anyone who knows him here knows he's really serious about his like chapstick by the way yeah i can't especially in the winter i can't have like dry lips dry lips is not something i deal with so just the fact that like it was just so random and the fact that he took half the vaseline with him I was more confused than anything than angry. <laughs> but later when I told the story, so I like I was angry, it's more just I was confused and annoyed by the fact that it happened. Oh my god. Yeah, shout out to that guy. I don't know yeah. where he is right now. I hope you're well. Yeah, I hope he's well. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you are. I hope you're well moisturized. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him on Facebook. You did? <laughs> <laughs> How are his lips moisturized? <laughs> i don't know i wasn't paying that, that guy shouldn't be chat for years <laughs> oh my god i actually have tears real tears <laughs> if i find him again i'll send you his where picture. were we um okay know? so i never used to be this person and then i r- realized the importance of this mm-hmm. as i got older but and you'll laugh when i read it okay okay when someone is punctual it shows that they're willing oh to work. my god <laughs> oh my god yo guys honestly like like if we weren't family, like there were a couple of times where I would think about our relationship as friends. <laughs> From the punctuality. Let me tell y'all something, okay? <laughs> I have improved so much. I, I swear I have. I don't know yet because COVID what? isn't over. Yeah, so I need right, to see when right. COVID. Yeah. No, I, watch, watch. The next wedding, I'm gonna see. <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> what time you pull up? Listen, <laughs> listen. Okay, but yes, I I agree. Um, yeah. Punctuality. Not only is it just important in the sense that you're on time for something mm-hmm. but you're it also shows your friends or whoever it is you're with that you respect their time exactly that you care to be there yeah and i mean you mm-hmm. know sometimes you have timed events like yeah. if you're doing a reservation or whatever the case mm-hmm. may be like it's good to be on time yeah you know i know that there's this whole stigma in east african culture like oh i'm on ethiopian time mm-hmm. oh i'm on harari time or whatever you know mm-hmm 
let's dead that yeah man like yo literally last week you remember that barbecue they had or whatever <laughs> i was okay. i was leaving it started at like 1 30 i was leaving the place not for you sorry like i know you came a little late but you know i, I had my reason okay but there i was leaving it was like six o'clock people were st- and people up were like still that? coming in like really? fresh at six at six okay that's pretty late like, I was like, what are you doing, man? You can't, like, the food's already gone. It's done. Yeah. You missed the speech. I guess they came there just to... Sh- you know how people just come up to show face or show yeah. up to show face? Yeah, yeah. I feel like they're just doing that because, like, you can't know as an excuse, man. Yeah. I don't know, but that, it's just... It's, you've seen people. Like, people come at the... If there's a wedding, you'll see, like, people come literally, I, like... I've seen... Yeah. People who... You know when they play that one last song? Yeah. At, like, the Ankar Mahtab. Yeah. That yeah. That one? I've seen people walk in at that time and See? I'm like, huh, what are you do- like? Why are mm-hmm. you, even- why'd you waste your time coming mm-hmm. here? What's mm-hmm. the point? <sighs> but anyways, yeah. So being punctual is <laughs> clearly very mm-hmm. important. Um, ooh, okay. What? I mean, this one's not that important, but as someone who loves animals, mm-hmm. this is a quote that was added as another green flag. Mm-hmm. My mom always told or They said, my mom always told me to look for someone who is nice to animals because that speaks mm. a lot about their character. Mm-hmm. When I first met my boyfriend, mm-hmm. I saw that he had a cat who he adored and that pretty much sealed the deal for mm-hmm. me. What is it with like girls, women who like men with that like cats? They're like, oh, it's I saw a TikTok oh, about Oh, there's women today. who like men. With, I love cats, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> no, <I was> like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe because it shows that you can like care for something mm. and take care of it. Especially if the cat like is loving towards that person. It shows yeah. that they actually know how to cultivate a relationship, even with just an animal or how to how to. Um, You're just a caring person. Yeah, how to care for something because yeah. like it shows that if they were to get together, if they were to have children, yeah, they'd be able to care for them very well. And you know, it's almost like a prerequisite, not prerequisite, uh, uh, practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it shows true. that you can you can actually do it um okay this next one is actually something that i do a lot Mm -hmm. um so this quote says i always get home super late and my boyfriend always leaves the front doorway light on for me it's such a minor thing but before he Mm. moved in i never used to do it and i would stumble my way into the kitchen Mm -hmm. for like any time it's late or if it's getting late and if i'm going out i'll Mm -hmm. turn on the light before i leave Mm -hmm. or if i know one of my parents are coming home late i'll turn on the light just because it's dark and you just yeah. you know want, want it to feel a little bit more safer because exactly. there's light there i think this is something this could be tied into acts of service would mm-hmm. you say or maybe? yeah I, I would say that's an act of service because you're, you're trying to make someone else's life easier and make, make them feel more comfortable and like yeah those small acts even though they're small like for for uh, the other person it might be leave a big impact right and i feel like any anyone everyone should be aware of those things <laughs> mm i don't know what's going on with my voice today i think it's just because it's later or something and also i was talking on the phone all day at work but ah. yeah so it's, it's gone but yeah I, I think like doing those small acts uh it's almost like that religious lesson where they say like even the smallest deed can grant you into paradise or something yeah. so like the smallest act can and, and even if you even if you do a small act towards someone with the proper intention that can be a deed for yourself as well just to kind of bring it back to that Islamic. Way that's a, that's a good point yeah, yeah. Like something as small as a smile exactly if you give someone one date yeah everything with the right intention is yeah 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 be positive course. yeah mm-hmm. um to tie into the small things mm-hmm. this one says when you put someone first even for the small things for mm-hmm. example offering someone the last of something before you take it for yourself like if you're eating mm. i'm really bad at that <laughs> <laughs> you're like you ain't gonna finish this right because <laughs> i will have it. scarf any food when it comes to food i think mm. we were just scarred because my dad would like eat oh my god yes when you were children yes so he would steal your food like you know when the dad they say oh let me get a bite and they literally eat 80 percent of the food <laughs> all you're left with was like the food that was left in between your fingers because he couldn't get to it oh my god i remember that and you i remember you and mm-hmm. gizman would be so mm-hmm. mad like you would be so mad mm-hmm. I that, that ruined my relationship with food man because now i just <laughs> scar food so quickly really? i like eat it like, you see me like even with the burger i finished that thing so we ate some food for us i ate that thing in like well i guess if you didn't count like the yeah looking for a netflix show because we were doing that thing where like <laughs> you're looking for a show to watch even though you know your meal's gonna take like five minutes to eat. literally <laughs> we literally put on a movie <laughs> 
<laughs> and so we good. knew we were gonna sit there for five more minutes i know but i finished that thing so quickly the moment i actually found something so it's just built into me but it's mm. it's something definitely to watch out for right to make sure that you're kind of aware of the people around you and trying yeah. to be considerate to the, towards them as our prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam peace be upon him once said mm -hmm. love for your brother no love for your brother what you will love for yourself mm -hmm. so you know if you truly and and you know what like let's just tie religion into this for a quick second to make it relevant to ourselves and to some mm -hmm. of our listeners you know when you truly love someone for the sake of allah that's like that's the truest form of love mm -hmm romantically platonically whatever the case may be how did you just gulp your entire like how did you gulp a tea like that it's it's pretty much cold now is it yeah okay one sec <laughs> <laughs> to catch my breath i was like <laughs> literally trying to catch up with you like gulping that and mm -hmm. i look at how far i got <laughs> you literally, like got like less than a quarter of it done <laughs> Ish. <laughs> it's okay i'll have iced green tea yeah yeah it works um but yeah so you know when you love someone for the sake of allah like i was saying that it's a, it's like the most true and pure form of love mm -hmm. because it's you're you're doing it for the sake of god mm -hmm. so everything that you do your actions towards this person the good actions yeah you're doing it literally for god's sake mm -hmm. you know what i mean like there's no other alternative there's no um alter ulterior motive exactly mm. exactly mm -hmm. you're not trying to get anything from them it's like Scam for the reward, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. Yeah. Um, oh, this is a good one. Mm -hmm. When someone genuinely listens. Like when they listen to mm. you, they're not just, they're not hearing the words you're saying, they're listening to what you're saying mm -hmm. and then they remember the small things about yeah. you. Ooh, that's a real one. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's not an expectation on everybody because mm -hmm. we got people having like... Yeah, and you can tell when someone listens because like you'll say some things, you might say something in passing and maybe you wanted something in passing and then yeah. later on they might like bring it to you say oh you needed this right yeah. what well, didn't you say your back was hurting last time i have this massager that i brought with me last week oh you could Ooh, mm -hmm. that's that's brownie points mm -hmm. that's that hits you in your feels you're just yeah. like you remembered mm -hmm. <laughs> and they try and do something to help it yeah mm -hmm. that's that's real yeah oh i like this one when someone respects your interests you know how sometimes You'll have friends with different interests. Mm -hmm. They respect your differences. But I feel like in our community, or at least like in the younger generation, we kind of clown on each other on our interests. Know. That's so true. Like that's a big thing. We, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll mature out of that or whatever. But like mm. when I start mentioning anime, <laughs> it's, you're, you're starting to like... Uh, I'm keeping an open mind. Yeah, you're keeping an open mind to it. But like if you mention it to certain people, they're like, what are you talking about? Like, then again, now anime is kind of, it's not a good example because it's kind of becoming more mainstream. Mm. At least a lot more people are kind of getting into it. Uh, but anything, if I start talking about uh, computers, like... Who clowns you for that? Huh? No, I'm just trying to give an example that oh, maybe okay. someone, or something nerdy in general. Yeah. Like your friends will try and clown you and be like, oh, like... Uh, why are you why are you being a geek or like they're just jealous, Amire. Yeah. They're jealous, exactly. Because they wish they knew. They, exactly. they wish That's they knew. Okay. That's what it is. They wish they had that talent, mm -hmm. but they're like. I don't know how I don't know what he's talking about, so let me just clown him. Yeah, I think that's what it is too. Right? People are like, maybe they're they're not not only that they're jealous, it's like they're envious of the fact that like you have something you're so passionate about mm -hmm. that you can just talk about it for hours yeah. with no stopping, right? Yeah. And some people see that as like a good thing like oh this person's like passionate about something but other people see it as something that like if they don't have a passion they see something negative but i think it's so like amongst your friends or whoever when mm -hmm. you when you see someone speaking about something that they're so passionate about and like seeing the way that they mm -hmm. get so like lively about Worked it up about it yeah yeah i love that mm -hmm. i'm like yo good for you and i mm -hmm. and and you know what when they're passionate about something they want to learn more about it and they can like like when you talk about stuff that mm -hmm. you're passionate about i sit there and i listen because mm -hmm. i know you know what you're talking about yeah and i'm like oh yeah tell me more <laughs> <laughs> you might learn a couple of things right yeah, and then you can pass that on and everybody else will think oh look she's all smart stuff it's like bro when i'm talking about like bro. being healthy and stuff i'm just yeah. like learn this from a mirror mm -hmm. i didn't do no research mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you pay attention, you know, you don't clown people, you might learn a couple things. Yeah. It, it might not be useful to you now, but it might be useful useful to you in the future. You never know. I think ultimately just being respectful of mm -hmm. each other's differences and keeping an open mind. Like, yeah. you know, for example, mm -hmm. 
I'm not an outdoor person. Oh yeah. <laughs> I um, our group of friends, we love Amir so much. <laughs> we will do anything, anything to Except? make him happy. Okay? So last was it last year? It was yeah. like two years ago, no? No, it was last year. Was it during COVID? Yeah. Was it actually? Yeah, it was literally last year. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. Twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. So for Amir's birthday, we were like, Amir, what's the was one? Was it for my birthday? Yeah. It was oh, like right. Shoot. We're like, what's the one thing you want to do? Mm-hmm. And of course, Amir suggests a hike. Mm-hmm. And I'm anyone who knows us personally, the, y'all have already seen this on our Instagram stories. <laughs> but Amir <laughs> picked a trail that he said was like max an hour and a half. Okay, it, it, it's been a minute. It was a minute since I did that trail before, okay? <laughs> it was like three years before that you yeah. did the trail. Anyway, so we're like, yeah, okay, hour and a half. We can do that, mm-hmm. no problem. Uh, long story short, it took us eight hours and we like actually almost died. I'm not even being dramatic. Yeah, we it was to the <laughs> point where we were almost like in the middle of the woods and, and the sun was going down. <laughs> it was getting dark. <laughs> I, I may have taken them on the wrong way at one point. <laughs> we were like climbing. <laughs> we were legit climbing like rocks and I had to pull people up and down. And, and we literally <laughs> carried us. <I> actually <laughs> carried us. And honestly, shout out to the the mvp faisal for like if he wasn't there honestly mm-hmm. i think you would have killed us and just like good luck guys <laughs> oh yeah i feel so bad but yeah faisal honestly was my rock that time yeah because like he was the only other person there who i could like look to actually iman was sort of iman is iman was sort of good too <laughs> iman wanted to get out of there so fast. yeah she did she was like f y'all i'm leaving mm-hmm. i remember that but see that's something where you know the girls and i Mm-hmm. it's not it's not our top choice of what we want to do yeah. on a saturday you know mm-hmm. but we love amir and we want to make him happy so we'll do whatever it takes mm-hmm. and if it's gonna take an eight hour hike where we're basically crippled mm-hmm. for the next two weeks we'll do it mm-hmm. will i do it again hey you tested your boundaries you know how far you can go you did it in the end you did it that's what you can say you say you could i that trail you see right there that mountain we climbed it we did it we you know what mm-hmm after my trip to Banff, yeah, I would be down for a hike. See, and now that I'm like going to the gym more consistently, yeah, let's go on a hike. Same one, right? No, <laughs> not the same. No, absolutely not that one. I don't like that one. Can we do one with like flat ground, like cement? That's not maybe? a hike. Yes, it is. A hike. If it's on a mountain, it's a hike. The first two letters of a hike are H I, and those stand for height. You have to go. I don't know. First of all, <laughs> height is spelled H E I G H T. Is it actually? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the H.I. stands for a hill. Okay, the you H.I. S- okay, I'm going to cut that out. The H.I. stands for a hill. <laughs> How are you going to use my... <laughs> How are you going to use my life? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, isn't a hike just, like, walking on the side of a mountain, even if the roads are paved? Every time I think of hike, mm-hmm. I think of going up and down and some type of roque. Like, no, no, like no. Rocks. Listen, listen, listen. It can't listen. be, like, paved roads. Okay, you know what? I'll do I'll trails. do that hike if I mm-hmm. get proper mountain climbing shoes. I think honestly that was the issue with the hike yeah. is because y'all were wearing like running shoes. I was wearing indoor running yeah. shoes and the bottom was smooth. Yeah. And it literally rained the day before. <laughs> yeah. So I feel mud. like if we had the proper shoes, y'all yeah. would have been able to do that no problem. Except yeah. for maybe all the uphill and downhill and That was fine. Yeah. My biggest thing was I didn't want to fall in the mud. That was literally it. And that's why we yeah. were like yeah. taking these like weird detours to like try and avoid this big yeah. muddle mu- muddle <laughs> this big puddle of mud yeah okay that, yeah that was our big mistake yeah it's okay we'll do it again no i've actually d- wait that one uh, okay i'll find one around that vicinity that's not as hard i don't trust you anywhere let me look it up <laughs> okay because you said yeah this is for beginners that was absolutely my memory my memory betrayed me okay like it always does <laughs> mm. mm-hmm <laughs> sure let's move on before i start to get you more annoyed <laughs> i know nabat's listening to this like i know he lying <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot Let, let's try to forget that oh, oh <laughs> my mic's falling again Ooh, this is this this is something that you're good mm-hmm. at doing people who can recognize when they've made a mistake and own it before you call them out on it yeah this shows their integrity and it shows that they're already working on a solution to the problem yeah if i make a mistake i immediately start thinking of the solution same like i already accept okay it's a mistake that i made <laughs> let's just fix this as, yeah. as quickly as possible and i think the the best form of apology is changed action or changed behavior mm-hmm. you know because like, you can say sorry and yeah sorry might mean something to someone mm-hmm. but if you're 
if you're going to go back to doing the exact same thing that you said sorry yeah. for, then eventually that apology is just going to be empty, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you always have to like show when 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 you do say sorry, there, there's this next step of showing mm-hmm. that you were sorry and and fixing whatever mistake that you made in the past, right? Yeah. So it's okay to make mistakes even in relationships, but as long as you work to fix those mistakes and yeah. and build a strong relationship afterwards, then it's like you know, just like any relationship, right? But I think it's important to note that like a lot of people don't know how to admit when they're wrong yeah that is a red flag but we're not talking about red flags today yeah you're just watching you're watching out for ego right yeah Mm -hmm. yeah that's pretty much it yeah i think someone who can be who can humble themselves when they've made a mistake Mm -hmm. and there are (coughs) there there are people who will accept that they've that they're wrong Mm -hmm. but they wait until someone calls them out on it like, if they've done something wrong, mm. they'll be like, oh, nobody noticed, so I'm just gonna, mm-hmm. you know? But if you're like, oh, you know what? I made this mistake. I'm sorry. Like, before anyone else notices, yeah. I think that shows true character. Yeah, it shows, like, you know, you're a mature person. <laughs> okay, this one, I feel like, is so underrated. Mm-hmm. Find someone who goes out of their way to make sure that you're comfortable. Um, do you ever have those situations where, like, you're in a place where you're out of your comfort zone? Like, maybe you're at someone's house. Mm-hmm. And like they kind of just leave you to fend for them for yourself, mm-hmm. or you'll have someone who hosts you, and they think of things that like you don't want to have to ask for, like you're too embarrassed to ask for, but they've already thought ahead. Like mm-hmm. for example, I don't know, you go to someone's house and yeah. they have like a whole thing of toiletries ready for you, so that you don't have to ask them for toilet yeah. paper or something. And you're like, oh my god, like thank you so much for thinking of me. Oh yeah, that's a big thing for sure. I think that's the standard. That's something you should always look for because like no, not everyone's like that. What do you really? Mean? Yeah. But then I guess, yeah, because, but then when was the last time you had someone over or had the opportunity to even do that? Yeah, like as a host, I love doing that because I know what it's like to be in the position mm-hmm. where you're at someone's house and yeah. you're like scrambling to figure stuff out. Yeah. Um. So I love when like, I love when, I mean, I feel like maybe girl, uh, sorry, I know you're a guy, but mm-hmm. I think women tend to, because they're just naturally, I would say more, th- a little bit more thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Some guys are as well, but yeah. It's something that they think of more like, you know, for example, imagine you're going to someone's house and you want to go take a shower mm-hmm. and you don't want to use like their body towel. So you go, you go in and they don't offer you a towel. So you're like, oh, crap, like, what do I do? Mm-hmm. So now you're going to have to be like, oh, can I get a towel? Or they'll be like, Amir, you can go take a shower. I've left out a fresh towel and mm-hmm. a bar of soap. There's also toothpaste and a toothbrush and floss. And here's skincare if you want that. Wouldn't you be like, wow, hella extra. I, would, I guess for me, it wouldn't be that much of a big deal. Like really? I, I would, like if they did that, I'll be like, that's a bit much, man. What? Yeah, I'm like, that's too much, okay? They're giving I, you a I, towel I would flip and the it. essentials. I would flip it. I would be like, why didn't that person bring all the stuff they needed? Unless it was like un... It wasn't planned. But then again, if it wasn't planned, then you wouldn't have those toiletries ahead of time unless you keep them around for any guests that come. Yeah. There are people who are like that. Yeah. Um, You know what? Yeah. You know what? Then, yeah, I I would I'd be very appreciative of that. Yeah. Uh, But I wouldn't even if they didn't have that. It's not something that would come to my mind being like, yeah, why does this person have it? You don't expect it. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't expect it. But when they do it, it, it's like very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That would be very nice. But. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because we're thinking about green flags, right? So yeah. that would be a green flag. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Because it just, again, I think it just ties back to just being someone going out of their way to be thoughtful mm-hmm. towards you and, like, make you feel comfortable, yeah. you know? Like, or even, um, uh, oh, okay, there was this TikTok that I saw mm-hmm. where um, this husband and wife, they were at a wedding, and mm-hmm. the husband was, like, partying a little too hard. Yeah. And then he was doing some kind of, like, squat dance thing, and he ripped his pants. <laughs> he was, like, super embarrassed. Yeah. So he was like, he was trying to get his wife's attention from across the dance floor, mm-hmm. but he was like waving her over, but there's like hundreds of people there. Yeah. So he calls her and as soon as he she walks over, he kind of like turns and she starts laughing and she's like, all right, I got you. She had an extra pair of pants in the car. What? I know. And I was like, this must be a regular occurrence though. Oh yeah, exactly. Because like, I'm like, <laughs> like no, like even if someone was a super, not, uh, what, you, what, 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 is that, what would you call a person who's always ready? or prepared yeah super if you're super prepared i don't think anyone thinks about i should bring an extra pair of pants just in case he rips his pair of pants like i feel like that's something that has to have happen on a regular basis but i mean if you're going to a wedding don't you bring an extra change of clothes 
because I do. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you know that I mean? makes sense. Then that we should have it in the car. Yeah, but like mm-hmm. to like not embarrass him to just be like, mm-hmm. okay, come to the car quick. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, those are real ones. The ones mm-hmm. that look out for you. Yeah. Um. Ooh, this one's a good one. What? When they not only support you but actively help you become a better person that you want to be. Mm, yeah, that's a very big thing. Uh, that's something personally that I've only started doing recently. Mm. But that's because I was only recently started to like actively implement things right Mm -hmm. like i think last week or a couple weeks ago i met up with some high school friends and i found myself like telling him okay like um what are you looking to do in the next couple years you have any plans i read this book recently about like um uh financial growth you can probably read this i'll give it to you if you need it so doing things like that because i feel like everyone should be working to kind of grow each other if that makes sense to help each other help each other grow exactly and improve uh because you don't (laughs) want to grow each other yeah (laughs) because you don't want to have like you don't want to have your group of friends and you see that one person who's like not falling behind but they're not really making any moves Mm -hmm. if that makes sense Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like you should see if if the person that you're if you're a friend with someone they should be if you're a different person in five years they should also be a different person in five years right yeah at least you should expect them to be a different person because then you might find that you might outgrow that relationship oh that's you know what a, i'm saying listen let's just diverge mm-hmm. for a quick second okay <laughs> let's talk about outgrowing your friendships mm-hmm. because it is possible yeah sometimes it happens mm-hmm. and i don't think it makes you a bad person for like to why is that thing moving is that you oh yeah that was me i was like why the hell is that thing <laughs> moving that was scared the crap out of me oh Bye, my man. god um so I think sometimes when when you abandon an outgrown friendship, Mm -hmm. some people might assume that is or might label that as like, oh, you're giving up on that friend. Mm -hmm. You don't just give up on someone the first time around. Yeah. You obviously, you know, when you're friends with someone and you yourself are on a a journey to self betterment, you're trying to become a better person. Naturally, you you kind of want your friends and the people in your inner circle to do it with you. Exactly. It kind of gets lonely when you're you're on, the only one that's want mm-hmm. that's wanting to better yourself, and everyone else is like, "Nah, not interested." Yeah, I'm okay with being stagnant and where I am. Yeah, and then eventually you're like, "Okay, fine, I'm going to do it myself." Mm-hmm. But as you continue to climb up that ladder, mm-hmm. your friends are still going to be at level one. Exactly. Eventually, you're going to just be looking down from level twenty, like, mm-hmm. "Hey, guys, you know, we're not on the same level anymore." And that's not to say that you're better than them in any way. Yeah, there are many different factors that keep people mm-hmm. at level one. You know what I mean? Yeah. But sometimes it just so happens where when you're at the point where they're starting to bring you down yeah. while you're trying to go back up, mm-hmm. then, I mean, I wouldn't say cut them off, but sometimes you kind of just need to... Distance yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and no, no hard feelings. Like, it's kind of just you're doing what's best for you. Exactly. So... Yeah, that's that definitely a big thing. So, you know, I just try to... If I do see that happening, mm-hmm. then I immediately start to try and actively help this person mm. r- not reach the level, but like grow in a way because then you're grows at their different pace yeah too, right yeah because also like just a small thing like your your even your ge- general conversations might get stale because the things they talk about don't interest you as as much as they used to right yeah so if as long as you're looking out for someone else's growth at least you can um continue to foster a good relationship there over time do you feel like in order f- to have a successful friendship mm-hmm. there has to be some sort of commonality no really well well what do you mean by com- uh, some common like, like you have to have some form of common it like there has to be something that you have in common otherwise you would just be two polar opposites how would you even be friends because you know if you're not interested in what they're interested mm-hmm. in and they're not interested in what you are like you can only act interested for so long you know what yeah, i mean i think that's just natural right like people like to be in tribes so you find your tribe and mm. usually you're f- finding your tribe is by finding a group of people who like something that you like like you might have friends who are re- who you talk only about gaming to. Mm. Or you might have a group of friends that you only talk about like uh, movies and anime with mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, or they might merge in some way, right? So, you might have actually different groups of friends. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true too. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. But yeah, I would I would say, for me personally, I think there has to be some form of common ground yeah in your friendships in order for it to be successful because i think you should you're still different you're still different people mm-hmm. but if you don't have that one common thing that brings you together then yeah 
if you eventually you're just, i think you're naturally going to start to drift apart in a way and it's not anything people. it's not negative yeah because that's what just happens with relationships it's just yeah. it's just what happens it's a way of life this is a really good one mm-hmm. when you're being dropped off by someone and they wait until you've unlocked the door and gone inside or turn mm. on the lights yeah we learned that the hard way why you don't do that no no, no. like we we i we didn't do it we didn't do it this one time and that one time it led to something really bad you know what it is right <laughs> no remember yeah. anamina what happened you don't remember no okay so um uh, uh our anna and i mean she used to live in the our same aunt. neighborhood as uh sara and but she was like maybe a block or two down um it's vaguely coming back to me Did yeah she fall? no 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 so this was like i think it was on a winter day we dropped her off in front of her house <laughs> yeah. after i think like a lesson or something and she started walking to her door like okay she's good you know and we we started driving we drove away right and i think she didn't have a cell phone at this time so we found out like later in the day that she actually forgot her key <gasps> so she had to walk in this winter cold all the way from her house all the way to your house this Why house right I remember here this? you don't remember this yeah, and she had to stay here until I think uh, her son came with a key and oh was able to open the door. God. Why or do my you cousin. remember that? Yeah, man. And since that day, I was like, <laughs> every time I drop someone off, yeah. I make sure I either see the keys or I yeah, see yeah. them go into the house. Yeah. If, if, it's, if, it's a, if it's a woman or a girl or something, then I make sure that they get into the house because you never know who's h- hanging around the house too, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you might have to you know i do that too not uh-huh. that I, like not that my you little can ass can do anything <laughs> but you know i could run them over exactly like what you trying to do to my friend yeah man sometimes it's dark yeah yeah i do it for girls or guys yeah there's some family members who don't leave the lights on in the front door mm-hmm. <laughs> mom there's and dad if you're listening <laughs> turn the lights on mm-hmm. when i'm coming home actually they do mm-hmm. it, but that's lie. actually a, another reason you want to keep the lights on right because yeah. you never know who might be hiding in the corner there right to try and get in because people who try and burglar a house will do that they'll wait till someone comes to the house <gasps> And they'll and then of course you have the keys right so they'll barge in they'll get, take the key from you and go into the house. Yo, that's scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've unlocked a new fear. <laughs> Bruh. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. What do you mean? You know what I do? Mm-hmm. I mean, first of all, I don't leave my house. Yeah. Second, my dad's always home. Literally. Oh, okay. So, so, so there's always someone here. And our neighborhood is like pretty family friendly. But if anyone mm-hmm. wants to try, I can scream so loud. Mm -hmm. And when my adrenaline kicks in, Mm -hmm. your strength level goes from like zero to 100 real quick. You can be like kicking the guy out. (laughs) Your (laughs) your eardrums popped. He's completely (laughs) bleeding out of their ears because of all the screaming. (laughs) But I think like that, I Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember if it was my mom or my brother who taught me that. Mm -hmm. Like when I first started driving. Yeah. And he, he, whenever Sebri would drop like my friends off. Mm -hmm. I'd always be like, why are you waiting? Just drive. Like, mm-hmm. you drop them off. And he's like, you have to wait until they go in the house. It's yeah. for safety, especially mm-hmm. if it's nighttime. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's a good one. Yeah. <gasps> this is you. This what? is so you. Go ahead. When someone goes out of their way to help strangers, even if it's an inconvenience to themselves. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely do I that. remember mm-hmm. this one time, you guys. We were at a restaurant and um, our waiter came to pick up our plates. But there were, like, a lot of plates. So... Amir literally stacked them and carried them to the kitchen. Do you remember Diana's, oh, yeah. <laughs> Diana's seafood or whatever it was called? Uh, Do you remember I, that time? I think I remember. That was the place uh, next where we used to go for Eid, right? I, the no, it was like that, that fresh seafood place. It's like, um, it was really random that we went there. I don't even remember why we went. But yeah, like, I forget we went, why we went there. We went there and mm-hmm. um, yeah, you like carried I vaguely plates. remember this. But like mm-hmm. you're with that, you're like that with everyone yeah i just i hate it when people are like inconvenienced in any way i'll try yeah. like if i if i have to drive from i don't want to make this about me but you know if i have to drive from scarborough yeah. to mississauga to drop someone off and back yeah, yeah. i'll do it because you know like i don't want that person to take a two-hour bus ride yeah. all the way to the other side either side of the city when i know it will take me maybe 30 minutes mm. without traffic to get to where i need to go and back because that's only an hour out of my life but that's like three hours out of someone else's life so why not, you know, make their life easier? How about you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, I, 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 it's I, keep, weird. I feel like I'm giving a lot of examples that I <laughs> I know, but it's like weird for me to brag about it. Mm-hmm. But I remember this See, one now you say not bragged about it. No, but no, 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 no. Because you do it in like a mesquite <laughs> yeah, humble way. Yeah, you exactly. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like uh, there was this one time it was like um, not raining. It was snowing a lot. Mm-hmm. And my mom and I were driving home from somewhere. 
and then i saw this lady she had like three bags of groceries and it was mm-hmm. snowing so much oh. and the bu- and she just got off the bus yeah. and i was like i was like mama like look at her mm-hmm and then I stopped the car mm-hmm. and I was like, excuse me. And she's like, do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, but do you want to ride? And mm-hmm. I was like, I promise I won't kidnap you. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, uh, and I was like, I swear, like, I just, it's Why did you mention the kidnapping? <laughs> because she was like, do I know you? Like, okay, you? yeah. So I was like, I just wanted to give you a ride. Like, it's cold. I understand. Like, mm-hmm. you have a lot of stuff in your hands. Mm-hmm. She was like okay so she came and like lo- mm-hmm. like load you know those um those wheel basket things yeah the cloth ones yeah she had that filled with groceries and then three bags on top and of this that. is in winter yeah mm. so then she like loads up the car yeah so um driving it was like two minutes yeah but walking would have taken her like half an hour because mm-hmm. of how much snow there was yeah so i dropped her off she was so cute i don't even remember like mm-hmm. her name and it was like in the neighborhood too so mm-hmm. i was like Anyways, like, how, I hope you have a great night. And she was like, couldn't say thank you enough. Mm-hmm. And then I dropped her off and I was like, oh my God. Like, that that feeling, especially when mm-hmm. you do, th- like, this goes back to, like, doing things ta'ala, yeah. like, for the sake of God, you know? So, <sighs> I just gotta Honestly, really yeah, so everybody feel. should be aware of that, that they should be looking out for opportunities yeah. to help out other people. Like, Listen, whenever you, you see something. Rewards doing anything. I mean, yeah. not anything, but you can, do, you can get good deeds so easily. Mm-hmm. Just look for the opportunities that Exactly. Itself. And there's a lot of them out there when you see, like, uh, um, if, if you see someone struggling in the street, also, I remember, I don't, should, I, should I just keep telling stories about, like... I like these stories. They're wholesome. Like, um, I remember my mom was on the subway once, and there was a pregnant Ethiopian lady. Oh. And she was talking to her and she's like, she's like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I pray I need to look for a place to live. Like, I don't have a lot of money. Mm. I don't know what to do. And my mom was able to hook her up with a place with our aunt. Oh. Yeah. And now she's just living there. She had the baby. Wait, really? Yeah. She had the baby. Oh, like, wow. they're all family friends now and everything. Wow. Yeah, just from that one conversation, my mom was like, you know what? I'm going to help you out. Oh my I'm going to find someone who can give you good, cheap rent because like, she uh, aunt didn't have anyone living in the basement anyways at that time. So she's like, yeah. okay, it's like she's Ethiopian. They 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 could they had that connection there. Yeah. And they ha- she was an immigrant. She recently came to the country. They oh. had the immigrant story. So like, you know what? Someone helped us when we were coming over. Mm. So we're gonna help you out. Yeah. And she had the baby. I love that baby, man. He's it's so like cute. Like a heartwarming like yeah. story. Ah. Mm-hmm. She was so thankful with that too. Now you're just like smiling. You're like, look at this. <laughs> I'm not even reading the words. I'm just like <laughs> you're thinking oh, about the story. You. It's like don't get emotional. <laughs> I'm really trying not to. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go off script. I'm not gonna go based off of the list anymore. These are just like pers- my mm-hmm. personal green flags because we haven't yeah. actually spoke about it yet. Mm-hmm. But for me, I think um, aside from the the basic like you know honesty, understanding, mm-hmm. respect. Respect is a really big one. Yeah, like people don't. Uh, I think you need to realize the importance of respecting your friends mm. because that can be stretched into so many different scenarios. Like, you know, um, respecting the similarities and the differences mm-hmm. and respecting when your friend wins. Like, yeah, th- it's not a competition between you and your friend. Mm-hmm. Like if your friend, if like, I remember like me and my friends used to have this one saying like when one main wins, we all win. Mm-hmm. Like, like when one friend wins, like it's a win for exactly. everybody, you know, like, and their I, I win is your win basically 100 yeah. percent. like and that like that support that you have for each other mm-hmm. in your in each other's interests like yeah. if you had your own endeavor i would like be your biggest cheerleader mm-hmm. and then vice versa you know what i mean yeah. so i think that's such a big uh green flag for me mm-hmm. and um aside from that i think someone who ultimately okay this is a very fine line between this because like at mm-hmm. the end of the day only you can really change and motivate and better yourself Mm -hmm. but to have a friend who can be motivating as well like it's not your friend's responsibility to carry you through life right but like if you have someone who reminds you to do good deeds and Mm -hmm. reminds you to be a better person Mm -hmm. that's such a good thing to have yeah instead of having someone who brings you down or drags you down etc yeah that's a very similar green flag that i have like if I, outside of the thing I mentioned earlier about like being low maintenance, I yeah. don't know if it, I can even say that's a green flag. That's no, just but something it, I, I think look it for. Is. Yeah, but also the respect thing. Like mm. I know we mentioned before, like someone being good to pets, mm-hmm. but like even seeing how 
that person treats other people that they don't know strangers yeah how someone treats strangers is yep. a big indication of how i will like this person right how they treat people that can't they, serve them yeah mm-hmm. because like if someone if, if if they even show a little bit of attitude towards somewhere just attitude in general mm. towards someone whether it be an elder or just uh a stranger mm-hmm. then i'm like nah that's for me that's a huge turn off turn off yeah uh so my green flag would be someone who is super respectful mm-hmm. in any situation yeah uh can keep their cool uh, even in an argument like uh, a green flag would be like someone who can instead of turning into like a shouting match mm-hmm. they can have civil discourse yeah on whatever they're disagree on yeah at the end the person people don't hate each other yeah like if if you can if you're chill like that then i'll I'll, i'm not i don't have a lot a long list essentially yeah it's just those small things right that i kind of look out for outside of that i'll accept you for whoever you are yeah at that point and like for me everyone's my friends well i i hate (laughs) i hate saying that you're all my friends yeah you're like (laughs) um I feel like if you if I'm you not, build some sort of connection with someone, exactly. like you automatically in your mind, you're friends. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. I'm not like that person to be like, oh, you're my acquaintance or blah, blah, blah kind of thing. Yeah. Like that. So if you're my friend, you're my friend. I'll do, I'll, if you ask me to do something for it, I'll do it for you kind of thing. Right. But mm-hmm. not everyone deserves that part of you. Not everyone yeah. deserves, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I think I need to learn to. Mm. Uh, I learned that the hard way. Tone that down, not tone that down, but uh, pull back a little bit more. You just need to learn how to filter it. Exactly, you know how to filter. That's what I mean. To say. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, I mean, I do understand why people differentiate between acquaintance and friends mm-hmm. and whatever. You don't gotta say it out loud. Yeah. But just have it in your mind where yeah. there are people who are, you know, your quote unquote ride or dies mm-hmm. people that you'll do anything for. Yeah. And then there are people who maybe you hang out with them seasonally, mm-hmm. like in the summer. You know, your summer friends. Yeah. Which you're still gonna kick it with them if they need you. You'll do stuff for mm-hmm. them. There, there might not be your top priority, but you know. Yeah. And then there are people who they don't always deserve all of you mm-hmm. for whatever reason. You could have your own reasons for that, you yeah. know. But if you see it, you're cool. What up? How's it going? How's exactly. life? And that's it. You keep it pushing. Yeah. At the end of the day, life's too short to hate on each other. Exactly. And try to drive any negativity out of you yeah. as much as possible, right? Like the way you peace. think yeah like you just gotta be a ray of sunshine mm-hmm. and of course there's always gonna be cloudy and rainy days that's mm-hmm. normal we're human beings mm-hmm. but you know don't focus on the negatives mm-hmm. do what this podcast did and focus on the positives but yeah uh, i feel like we we covered a lot of good things here hopefully you guys can take uh away a lot from this yeah. wait did i say that correctly i feel it like the grandma was a little me, out there but like I yeah. Feel like I understand Anything makes sense at this time, honestly. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, you know, let us know your thoughts on your friendship green flags. Did we mention one that you're considering? Mm-hmm. Can you relate? Do you agree? Disagree? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Let us know. Um. And yeah, I mean, I guess we will talk to y'all next week. Thanks for stopping by. Mm-hmm. My name is Sara. Because we still doing that. My name is Amir. Don't oh, forget to follow us. On Cousin Connection Pod on Instagram, mm-hmm. subscribe or follow whatever it is on Spotify, Apple Music, mm-hmm. Google Podcast. I mean, Apple subscribe, Podcast. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Yes, we also, oh guys, oh my God, we never announced that. Do we not? We will announce it on Instagram. But okay. We yeah. now have a YouTube channel. Which we're, I'm supposed to, I actually still need to upload the photo the episode on there. But but we are soon, we're going to use, we're using that page to like upload our video podcast when we eventually have that coming out. Yeah, I know surprise. we keep mentioning it, but we're working on it. Um, but yeah, once we start officially putting out the episodes on there, at least in video form, uh, you'll be the first to know. Just make sure you subscribe on there, uh, get the numbers up and um, yeah. Yeah.